<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm always excited to go to work. I never know what's waiting for me. I've always got several designs going at, you know, simultaneously. And with carbon, the speed coupled with the quality of the materials, it's kind of like freeing as an engineer to be able to stop thinking about if a machinist can make it and start thinking about like how your design can function. At Astoria Pacific, we make analyzers for various industries that need to test chemistries. So you have a neonatal side where some of the tests, you know, their allergies, like one of them's called galactosemia, and it's like a severe milk allergy. And if you breastfeed that baby, it has the potential to die. But if you catch galactosemia with that heel prick, then you simply change that person's life. Well, you give them a life. As well as the blood, we design chemistries and tests for um, beer. Wine is a big one of ours. You know, a lot of people, when they when they hear about uh, ISO 13485 manufacturers, it, no one really seems to have a good grip on what that means unless you're doing it yourself. And, and it's, it's a structure for maintaining quality, really. A lot of what I do is making sure some of these legacy equipments can still function in the field, which 3D printing actually helps me a lot. In the last few years, it's been so hard to uh, have things manufactured. It was, I don't know, maybe wait six to eight weeks for, for a set of prototype parts. We spent a ton of money on that, a total premium for those low quantity parts. And then you mess them up, you get the next version. So you're talking three months later, maybe you're on your second iteration. Basically, if you want to get something done right now, it, you're going to have to wait for it or do it yourself. So now I can actually print the, the production parts. So I've got that first iteration probably that day. So what I have is a lot more time to design features and functionality into the part and apply it like, like there are no restrictions. I, I mean, I cut the assembly time for one of our parts from like 40 minutes to like three. This machined traditionally was hundreds of dollars and it's been reduced down to one main 3d printed component and four screws the biggest limiting factor for me to getting parts in inside uh, production units has been the v0 rating and so now that there this material is available i'm definitely going to be using it Several of these components now are slated to go EPX86. The EPX FR is like the perfect solution for us. It improved the quality of the readings we get out of the sensor because it's darker and more stable. So it really all around solved many problems. And, and in the end, so much cheaper. The whole system, carbon digital light synthesis, everything is so well structured so that we can maintain that ISO 13485 certificate without having to really worry. It's, it's smooth, the, the road, I would say. This bumpy road of manufacturing, it's about cost savings, weight savings, time savings. It's a better product.